Hey guys. So real quick, I just wanted to go over our syllabus. I'm going to go over our, our uh, Otis, our learning management system, and then make sure everyone's going to be familiar with, with your ed puzzle. So this is just kind of like um, how to navigate type of a video. Um, and then uh, I'll introduce you to your first lesson and then also the first one and two modules in later videos. But to start with, that's, that's just, just the first one. So this is going to be our course syllabus, um, and I'll just kind of go through it. So. This is for Pottery One, the flipped version, and this is going to be where your all the content for your videos are going to be watched at home. And then when you're in class, you're going to be working with discussions and working on the wheel and getting um, more time in the classroom with me to help you get uh, build some of those technical skills. When you first start Pottery, you need a lot of time just to get your hands in clay and start working. So we're going to do all the um, the content side at home, all the all the work at school. Um, so we will just be using the standard high school grading skill. Um, and here's how the, your, your grades will be weighted. So um, all of the instructions will be delivered through Edpuzzle. So you can see Edpuzzle is part of your formative assessment. It's going to be 40%. Any sketches you do for your POTS, getting to know me, work, uh, group discussions, all of that falls underneath the formative. Your summative is going to be how have you transferred the knowledge of what you learned into your projects. So that, it's, that it goes with um, your technical skills, all the projects, everything's going to be demonstrated through the projects that you submit. Um, and then going down, um, you can do as many reviews as you'd like as, as you're building those skills and developing them. Um, moving forward, you can keep resubmitting to, to work on technical skills. Uh, you can also, you know, the school handbooks on there um, were blended. All of our academic standards are going to be listed here. And then just a note, the rubrics are going to be in Otis, um, but I do have hard printable versions if you care. They're all listed here. Same thing. It's just one's digital, one's, one's all online. And then also, I said all of your content is going to be through your ed puzzles. And it's my expectation that you complete those. There's little side notes I in, enter in, some type of reflective question typically towards the end. Um, but if you want to rewatch a video because you just can't remember, you want to rethink, all of it's going to be linked in our syllabus here. You can see that we have um, all the videos are here. So you can always go back and rewatch. So that's the syllabus side. I'm going to jump you over to the Otis side and um, just kind of show you what, what it's going to look like on your end. So I'll go to my flip pottery class here, and we need to go to lessons actually. So for your first lesson, what you're going to end up doing is going to be this little welcome and introduction type of thing. So this is what you're going to open up. Um, it's going to be in your lessons tab on the left, and it's going to look just like this. And, and my lessons are going to look pretty similar where they're just these different tiles. So starting off, I start you with a lesson size learning and target. This is a video that, that talks about me, just so you get to know me a little bit as, uh, as your instructor. Uh, and then this is a hyperlink to join our Edpuzzle class. You don't have to do anything else in Edpuzzle right now. It's just to get you registered. You have to sign in with your Gmail, I believe. And then it's going to be your turn. So then this is a very, very two-minute video explaining this slideshow um, and what I, what I expect. So you're going to open up the slideshow. Actually, let's just preview it. And I'll show you right now. Open that up. Open the link and it should be a force copy. So we'll just do a force copy. And then I kind of I gave you a format that I think is pretty easy to follow. So your name here, give me your pronoun, give me at least one image of you. I think choose one you think that looks that, that best represents you. Um, next slide, family and friends. Who are who's important? Who's your support system? Um, as, as you as you go through, and then don't forget to include pets. Pets are important, don't forget them. Um, any activities you're interested in that doesn't have to be school related, maybe you're in a band outside of class, uh, school or um, you're not cross country, but you just like to go for jobs. Just give me some interest, see if I can connect with you. Maybe you're a big hunting, fishing person, who knows. Um, and then finally, are there any concerns that you have in this class, uh, anything that I can address? This is not shared with, with the rest of the, the class, it's just with me. So once you have all that, doo -doo -doo, you are going to go to your assessments over here. And my size will look different. This is, these are all my folders, but you're going to have an assigned assessment um, that you are going to submit that to. And then, and you will submit that, and that's on this left side. If you ever get lost, the home button's up here. Um, if you have other classes, they're going to be here. And that's pretty much lessons and assessments are really the tabs that you need to kind of be looking at. Um, the grade book you can be looking at, but that's going to transfer to our uh, district infinite campus grade book. 
Okay, so that's that's your first video for for what this is all going to look like. I do want to mention that when you get to your Edpuzzle over here, this I think you should all see this as as I see it is that these are all so far these are all the Edpuzzles that I've assigned to you. You do not need to complete any of them right now. That's all going to start taking place in Module One, and it's a long process, so don't get overwhelmed. These are these are staggered it's not a lot not all at once but each one does have um some notes and guiding questions that i would like you to answer okay that's it for this first part if you have any questions please sure to reach out thank you